So honestly, this website, pretty useful. Y'all should check it out. It is the Pride Win Institute. Now this website has basically replaced this uh, Google Sheets over here. As you guys know, the Counterside Employee Guide, which you guys can see right here. It's already linking y'all to this website, right? So this is the new website for all your good infos and stuff. So the Pride Win Institute obviously has your nice old search bar. You can search for KR and uh, C equivalent as well. So you can search for something like Hayami Kanade and she'll be showing up. You can also search for Evolved One, all that good stuff, right? And it even shows whenever they got a new update as well. So pretty good overall on that. So this is the whole page. It is currently in beta, obviously, and you can see some latest blog posts and categories and new employees in C. New employees in K are pretty damn user friendly. You can also contact them and you can also support them if you want as well. The site is ad free, as you guys see already. Even if you're running ad block, it wouldn't really matter. But yeah, other than that, you can see that there is an employee tab. So you can see that you can try doing a C server or a KR server. Let's do KR since you can pretty much see them in, you can see all the units right here. But obviously if you do C server, then you know, you can only see this much. The awakening units are pretty much at the beginning as they start with awaken, right? So this is a pretty easy to access type uh, page right here. If you want to look at awakening units, although it evolves over here, cause you know, he's doesn't really say awaken in this year name, but yeah. Other than that, you can obviously see that there is updated tags as well, just in case you want to see something or if you wanted to uh, keep in touch with that. So other than that, pretty nice page in terms of, uh, you know, sorting out and filtering things. You can see specialty, you can see that they have roles, obviously, and even their factions. So it's pretty interesting. So if you want to see something about the militia, you can see Li Yuri, Kangmin Ru, and Choi Ji Hoon here. All the stuff, reset button. And all that other stuff you can also see show unreleased if it's in a C server. So that's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, other than that, you also, if you obviously click on a character. So let's look at uh, Alex, for example. You can see that they have their overall rankings up here. So B overall PVE and A for PVP. Because, you know, anti-self units, all that stuff. Now... They don't have gear recommendations. It is missing from the employee page simply because they have decided to not include it because they're planning on developing a gear builder tool later on to show the recommended gear for each unit as a small widget. Now, other than that, you can obviously see that they also have updates and stuff. So you can see right here that some things... Uh, let's actually go to Horizon for this. Uh, do... Oh, okay. It doesn't actually show you if you don't have it. So I'm like KR, or maybe I'm stupid. Am I just stupid? Oh, I just spelt it wrong. My bad. <laughs> now you can see right here that it has red for old versions and green for the new versions. Obviously, they could do get removed next update, probably. And some other stuff. So obviously, you can see your skills right here, right? Which is pretty useful. Other than that, you can also see the availability and you can also see what they are in their profile. And their specialties which is pretty good overall you can also see their stats which is pretty useful you can also see their 100 loyalty bonus as well and if they're level 110 so honestly very very useful if you want to look at stats and it's all on one site so that's pretty cool and there's also analysis as well you can see her background and also what she can do pros cons all that good stuff right skins if they have one and dialogue options so overall pretty cool in terms of the employee section you can also see the operator section pretty much almost the same thing so pretty nice other than that we also have ships you can also see our ships pretty much the same thing right skins and all that good stuff and there's also the tier list that they have on their site pretty accurate for the most part uh in terms of pv pvp ratings uh other than that you can also see that you can change it from PvE to PvP, raid settings, all that good stuff, co-op, all that nice stuff, right? 
so you can check that out whenever you guys want other than that we also have our guides now this is a pretty big part of the site you can obviously see you know what operators use what to reroll for shipbuilding big ones are future stuff like rearmament you can also see uh future danger close bosses or danger close guides as well and uh, new seasons sea band history if you're interested so obviously if you didn't know we're about to get i mean obviously you, you can see all the like stats and stuff and like videos from other people hey that's me look at that and also simon too so yeah a lot of the good stuff right also kill guides if you want to see the text messages and stuff all that nice nice stuff tired armor and the good stuffs uh other than that you can also see the danger close seasons so we are about to approach season 10 where we have counter units minus 15 percent hp so this is pretty nice if you want to see like future danger close seasons and try and prepare for it uh this is going to be annoying chifuulus and this is going to be annoying counterless so honestly we'll see what happens but yeah that's pretty much the site overall and if you're interested in kr stuff and c stuff and updates and don't want to go anywhere else this is a nice patch notes area so overall very very cool website very nicely designed very fast as well uh seems pretty fleshed out they got it's obviously in beta so for something in beta this does seem very very cool and you also see kr server so you can see all of the skins and try and plan in the future too whether or not you want to see a certain skin for a certain unit or save for another skin like this one right here seems pretty damn good if you were just trying to save for like a rosaria skin or something but one came out and then another came out another one now you own all of them and you're just like hmm now i'm kind of sad so you can choose whatever skin is favorite for you uh depending on if you only like owning one skin for them because you don't want to waste money yes this, this is here for you other than that that's pretty much it all the good stuff is on this website now and i definitely recommend visiting the pridewood institute pretty cool website 